We're at the Cleveland Clinic today with Dr. Bruce Lytle, who's chair of the Heart and Vassar Institute. Dr. Lytle, you've been here quite a while. What are the most amazing changes and advances over the years? Well, uh, Mark, when I was, uh, I entered medical school in 1967. And at that time, we believed that pharmacology was going to take over the world. And things like surgery and, and anatomic treatments were somewhat barbaric and soon would fade away. We'd have a pill for everything. That's right, we'd have a pill for everything. And, and actually during my professional career exactly the opposite has happened. So the advances in heart surgery that I've seen uh, or heart at the treatment of heart disease have been certainly for the first part of my career largely anatomic. I mean in 1967 there was the first heart transplant, there was the first coronary bypass operation, valve surgery became very much more frequent. And over this period of time heart surgery really changed from an experimental treatment into a reproducible treatment for many kinds of heart disease. And so did a lot of other things like pacemakers and defibrillators and other anatomic or device related treatments. Now, in the last decade, with the onset of statins and, and other drugs, it may be that now that pharmacology is going to be a, a lot more important. And as a matter of fact, it is going to be more important in the future. But really, over my professional lifetime, the biggest thing has been anatomic treatments for heart disease. And here at Cleveland Clinic, we're busier than we've ever been. We're with busier heart surgery. than we have ever been with heart surgery, and and with a much more varied kind of heart surgery with not just bypass surgery and valve surgery, but with aortic surgery, with transplants, with the use of left ventricular assist devices, uh, lung transplantation, and all the things that go along with those very complex form of treatment. What do you think will be the next big frontier, the next thing we conquer surgically? The artificial heart is one of those things that possibly is going to be something that will be real. I mean, when I came here in 1978, we believed that we were right on the cusp of having a, a artificial heart, and we still believe that. But we may be more right now than we, we were then. At the end of the day, what does a heart surgeon do to relax? I have three Labrador retrievers, and I will tell you that there's nothing like going home and looking at those three dogs that are always glad to see me, no matter what happens to me during the day. So I go home, I take my dogs off for a walk, I lie around and let them crawl all over me and you know that makes me feel a lot better. For Fox 8, I'm Dr. Mark. Dr. Mark is sponsored by the Cleveland Clinic.